we didn't film it all last night. We just crashed. We're headed up to food, but it's raining. So we're gonna put the camera away until we get there. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? So I've been wanting to try this humble working class dish. It has rice with, looks like peanuts and um, a boiled piece of chicken. It's got some type of soup. I think it's eggplant. It might be liver. Regardless, he said it's delicious and I'm gonna believe him. So that's what we're having. And they have hot chili peppers. I'm trying the peppers on the table. Dear Lord. No wonder he said I wanted to record you. <laughs> Those are really hot. But they're good flavor. Toasty snails, tau saute. Tau saute. They're uh, garbanzo beans. It's cooked in uh, the chicken, so it gives it a really nice flavor. Garbanzo beans are, are creamy, and then the chicken is really light. You could eat it every day and not get tired of it. For those of you who aren't new here, yeah, we're eating chicken and rice again. And now I'm trying the soup. It smells spicy. It's a uh, chicken saute. That's really good. It has chicken in it. It's in. <laughs> and uh, bell peppers. So they boil down the tomatoes to make a really thick sauce, but it has a spice to it that it makes it a little bit hot, but not too hot. Oh, this is fantastic. I really like this. Mm. Lunch was wonderful. It was just under $6, and $1.50 of that was the Coke. It was fantastic. Despite the rain, we couldn't resist wandering around the historic streets of Istanbul. What we could resist was the massive line to get into the Galata Tower. We'll just have to look at this one from the outside. Besides, there's so many free things to do here. It's such a budget-friendly city. Unless we leave Katie alone at the bakery, then the budget goes away quickly. Now we're at the Spice Market, and we're going in because I am getting drenched. <laughs> smells in here, I can't really describe it, but I'm gonna try. The spices and the candles and it's just lightly wafting. It is wonderful. so we don't bump anybody else. We are really glad that we came here on a weekday because during the weekend, it is insane. This is actually pretty nice. We can actually walk around and look. There's people around, but we're not slamming into people. I really like it. There's a lot of people. Good, how are you? Fine, everything's okay. Hi, they're over there. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Now, this is the ultimate Turkish towel. It's made into clothing. It's about $25 is what they have priced here. Next stop, we're gonna go out in the rain and then we're gonna hit the Grand Bazaar. <laughs> so let's go. It's beautiful, but I'm glad we're undercover into the Grand Bazaar. It looks huge. <laughs> I'm excited. idea. This place is so vast. We're going to do a little bit of shopping. If you find something really interesting, we'll show you. If you're ever in this mall, you have to come here. This is incredible. The sights, the smells, the sounds. This is, uh, I'd say, my number one thing so far besides the food. The Grand Bazaar was a lot of fun. We didn't find anything that we really needed. Then again, we don't need much. <laughs> we don't have anything planned for the rest of the day. I think we're headed back out to the rain and probably get some more food before we head, I don't know, somewhere. If you like our videos, hit like and subscribe. It really does help us out a lot. <laughs> This is why I am the best negotiator in the world. So looking for a replacement for my camera bag, and I kind of wanted a stylish 1980s bum bag, as our British friends call it. The first guy we went to asked for 500 lira, which is insane. So we go to the second guy, find the perfect bag, and I think he says 18 euros, and I'm like, I need to lowball this guy. So I hit him at 100 lira. Obviously, you know how to handle. And he looks at me and says, no, 80 lira. I hit him at 100, and he bargained me all the way down to 80. 
need it. I probably could have gotten this for half the price of what I got it for. You so do drive a hard bargain. I am the best negotiator ever. We had to stop in this adorable little Turkish place for some coffee. Actually, I was gonna have tea, but he told me, no, you have to have coffee. So that's what I'm happy. Turkish coffee. <laughs> this is my first baklava. The song playing right now is called Beware of Traps. That's a little foreshadowing. I'm not a fan. Hope Chris likes it. Last night's was much better. Well, we just got royally scammed. <laughs> I knew when he didn't put prices on the list that he was just putting little X marks down. I was like, oh yeah, I really should have asked how much. Lesson learned. Oh, you got donuts. I saw the guy selling these donuts and I had to try them. Oh wow, fried goodness. 10 liter. Um, they're greasy, but good. We just happened to be in Istanbul during Ramadan. We were just kind of wandering around looking for something. You know, the worst question in any relationship is where do you want to eat? We came into this beautiful place on the waterfront and they have the Ramadan menu. And so we are about to get stuffed beyond our wildest dreams. Let the feast begin. I got the regular meatball. Chris got the chili meatball. It's charred a little bit, but the meat is this wonderful flavor. Hello there. Fig and date. Pumpkin dessert with tahini That's and nuts. Well, you don't have to finish that. Oh, yes, I do. Otherwise, what's next? Tomorrow, I'm the guy who eats half a power bar, wraps up the rest, and puts it in the fridge? So I saw somebody on YouTube eating this. <laughs> I'm sure he was saying that this is why I came. It's a smothered dish in yogurt, and it's baked and really hot. You know Katie's excited because she didn't even see the cat right there. This is 38 or 30, depending on which one you pick. Turkish, Turkish? Turkish. Lira, Lira. <laughs> I have to try one. See if these are boiling hot or not, because they range all over the place. Yep, those are the hot ones. They're really good. I like anything smothered, so let's see. It has a tang from like a, a Greek type yogurt. I thought the red sauce would be spicy, but it's not. Mm. That chicken in it is ground really fine with uh, parsley and tomatoes. This is really good. Everything works well together. Nothing stands out, it all blends. Okay, let's try the beef. I think I like the chicken a little bit better. It's smoother. I guess the chicken's better. <laughs> but this is really good. To our friends in Medford, this is like La Burrita's old smothered burrito, but it's a smothered kebab. It's amazing. <laughs> That was so good that we're having a second plate of the chicken, one each. <laughs> that pepper is going up through the air and it is just wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I am so honored that Chef let us come back into his kitchen and watch him doing the whole thing. So I come back in and watch that that was awesome. I hope that the video does it justice because this place is truly a gem. So I have to start down to it. Excellent. Thank you. So, and our man's on YouTube. So check him out. We had four of those and a Coke and it was $10. My heart is happy and my stomach is happy too. Oh. And I get rained on. So, rain, <laughs> or actually, I don't want to know what that was. <laughs> it was rain. So we're going to make sure to put the address in the bottom so you can find this place. Definitely worth stopping while you're in Istanbul. Definitely worth making a special trip for, actually, even if it's a little bit out of your way. Now it's raining. Camera goes away. Istanbul, not Constantinople, so if you put in Constantinople, she'll be waiting in Istanbul. Of course, we had to stop buying us some Starbucks. It's at least five stories. You walk into the first story, and then you see stairs. You can just keep going. But it's still small and cozy enough on each floor. I saw these teenagers get in the elevator, and I was all judgy. I was thinking, taking an elevator up one floor. 
Six floors later, I understand. And his amazing view of the city. Also cannot beat the prices. Grande caramel macchiato and a venti mocha, five bucks. Total. I saw this as a, um, on YouTube and it was a great snack. The guy actually has a Michelin, his uh, restaurant has a Michelin star and he sells these out front. Even has stone gold. This is what they look like. Tastes like ground lamb with herbs, cornmeal on the outside. It's very savory, but light. It's really good. This is a great little treat to walk around with. I recommend these. So Turkish Lee or Peace. I love places like this. You get to pick your food. All of this is less than $7. Mm. Meatball soup with a little bit of vinegar. Tzatziki on noodles. Mm. That tastes like stuffed dill. Amazing. The zucchini fritters. They're good. Chicken cutlet. This is all really good food. You definitely have to come here. As you can see, we're back on the ferry. We're heading from Karakoy, where we've been staying, over to Katakoy, which is on the Asian side. So we're leaving Europe and heading to Asia. And we're staying on the other side. It's because our train leaves at 6 o'clock in the morning, and I don't think I want to do this that early in the morning. It is really easy to love this city. There's so much to do and so much to see, and the food. Ugh. It's got a really cool vibe. Everybody's really nice, and everybody will help you if you get lost. We'll show you next when we get to the next part. We're tired. I know. Oh yeah, one more thing before we set off into the hotel. This Istanbul car is amazing. It goes everywhere but taxis. So just load it up and go wherever you want. We get it from the yellow machine at the train station when we got in. We put 50 lira on it when we bought it. And you've seen all the traveling we've been doing. We've taken the metro, the buses, a couple ferries. And we're down to like eight lira, I think, left yeah. on the car. Very good value on travel. Now we really are out to the hotel. <laughs> Maybe the mic on it? Oh, yep. So we found a, a cheap little tripod. It looks like this. It's pretty cool. I know, it's so impressive. We have made it to our really lovely and upgraded hotel. It's awesome. Oh, I mean, it's impressive. <laughs> we have two nights in this place. We booked this place with Hotels.com. This isn't sponsored by them, but that's just how we booked it. What an upgrade! First thing you notice when you come in is how spacious it is. The bathroom, we could fit probably 10 people in there. <laughs> and lots of uh, different toiletries. It had everything I needed. Why we booked this place is because we go out early in the morning and we just wanted to walk across the street to the train station. The, the bed is firm but nice. And they give you four pillows plus two extra. And here's the catch with pillowcases on them sitting in the box Yay. where all that stuff sits. Not laying in other people's filth. Now you have a place picked for us for food. I'm starving. Are you starving? Well, I didn't say it was close. <laughs> um, okay, yes, we need to eat. Just do it. If you look carefully, you'll realize one of these things is not like the other. Uh, what are you doing? I've been wanting to try this dish called, starts with an M, <laughs> but it's a pot with a whole bunch of herbs and uh, tomato sauce, and then they put eggs on it and you dip it up. It's supposed to be morning breakfast. As bread. opposed to, you know, afternoon breakfast yeah. or dinner breakfast, yeah. yeah. Custard, good. <laughs> Jam, good. Meat, good. It's the only one I could find that was in close and it has lots of reviews. Would you like anchovies in yours or walnuts? I Google translated it, but Chris cheated didn't ask for an English menu. And then I promptly just asked him for his favorite and took that. So we'll see what that is. It came with this amazing bread. Mmm. Hear that crunch in the middle is really soft. Oh, this is good bread. Good crunch bread. And the garbage can that just rolled up behind us is made in Spain. So, you know, there's that. And I almost took out lunch. Thank you. 
Oh, that's fantastic. You can really t uh, taste the tomatoes and the peppers. It's really good. Beautiful oh. food. Oh, thank you. And chai. That one, I can see why it's his favorite. <laughs> it's really good. That was incredible. It was only $6. Train. Getting out of town. Oh. Oh. We'll explain what we're doing in the next video, but right now we just wanted to do a wrap up on Istanbul. I loved it. I was shocked by it. It has everything. It's exciting. It's the food's amazing. The people are really nice. There is so much to see, and I love the transportation. It's so easy with the Istanbul card. I would come back in an instant. What she said before we went to Istanbul, literally everybody we know that's been to Istanbul just said, "Oh, I love it. It's so amazing," and it was almost too much to be believed. They were all correct. Yeah. A city that's really easy to love. I loved it. That's all for this week. Next week, we will catch you from Konya. 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 <laughs> Keep drinking this coffee. Make the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>